Have you ever judged anyone by their appearance? Maybe they were dressed in the finest of clothing with an expensive watch or handbag to match. Have you ever looked at them and thought, they've got it all together? Or maybe it was the opposite. Maybe you saw someone wearing dirty sweatpants and scuffed up shoes and thought that they were poor or somehow beneath you. The very idea of judging someone based on their appearance is the central idea behind Oscar Wilde's The Happy Prince. But before we start reading the story, here's a quick trivia on the author's life and work. Oscar Wilde was born on the 16th of October 1854 in Dublin. He was a renowned author, playwright and poet from the late Victorian England. He was known for his brilliant wit and showy style. In 1891, he published his only novel, The Picture of Dorian Gray, which is considered to be one of his most notable works. Some of Wilde's famous plays include Lady Windermere's Fan, A Woman of No Importance, An Ideal Husband, and The Importance of Being Earnest. Wilde tells us about a majestic statue of a prince adorned in gold leaf and jewels such as sapphires and rubies that overlooks the city. Yet, despite his wealth, he's not happy. He is saddened by the poverty he sees from his perch atop the city. Now let's read the story to see how the prince reacts to this sorrow. High above the city, on a tall column, stood the statue of the happy prince. He was gilded all over with thin leaves of fine gold. For eyes, he had two bright sapphires and a large red ruby glowed on his sword hilt. One night, there flew over the city a little swallow. His friends had gone away to Egypt six weeks before, but he had stayed behind. Then he decided to go to Egypt too. All day long he flew and at night time he arrived at the city. Where shall I put up? he said. I hope the town has made preparations. Then he saw the statue on the tall column. I will put up there, he cried. It is a fine position with plenty of fresh air. So he alighted just between the feet of the happy prince. I have a golden bedroom, he said softly to himself as he looked around and he prepared to go to sleep. But just as he was putting his head under his wing, a large drop of water fell on him. What a curious thing, he cried. There is not a single cloud in the sky. The stars are quite clear and bright, and yet it is raining. Then another drop fell. What is the use of a statue if it cannot keep the rain off, he said. I must look for a good chimney pot. And he determined to fly away. In the start, we came across a statue known as the Happy Prince standing on top of a tall pedestal in an unnamed city. The statue was covered with gold leaves. There were two sapphires on the statue which represented the prince's eyes and a ruby on the hilt of the sword. The statue was greatly admired by the people of the city for its beauty. Now towards the start of winter, a swallow arrived in this city. It was on its way to Egypt to join the other swallows. The swallow decided to take shelter under the statue of the happy prince for the night. As it was about to retire for the night, a drop of water fell on it. At first, the swallow thought it was a raindrop. But then it realized it was actually a tear falling from the happy prince's eye. Tutormate for more amazing video lectures, download the free app on the Apple App Store or Google Play Store.